Hello, everybody. We are back. Game number five, MVP against Lenoch. Very exciting stuff. We also discovered that apparently I have a babysitter. Oh, my God. That was so funny. Yeah, ma'am. She's going to put me to bed tonight. Well. Midnight, bedtime. Maybe if you'd be quiet and play in the other room and Sev try to tell I'm her like, about Ninja but Turtles. three little ninjas. I have the VHS. I need oh to watch it. Oh, my God. Why did you make me think of those movies? Three little ninjas. If you have a kid, make them watch Three Little Ninjas because there's nothing cooler than Three Little Ninjas. Wow. Remember Tom Tom? Or Tom Tom or whatever? I don't really remember that well, but I, of course, watched those movies. Everybody did, man. Wow. That's what happens if you were born in the 80s. You saw Three, three Little, little ninjas. ninjas. Oh, I have heartburn, man. I ate that pizza too fast on break. All right, head-to-head -head here, Lenox against MVP here at the GSL Codex. Who will go to the finals? Let's find out now. In the bottom right, the youngest player, perhaps the best player. Lina. Lena. His opponent. Whoa. Oh, sick. Caldor holding Caldor. that up with his three hands. <laughs> I guess actually it's four. Left. In the upper left, we have the game genie, Taryn, from the team I am. You know. I am. MVP. I knew something was different about Kaldor. He has Especially extra when he shook my hand with two of his hands and hugged me at the same time. I was like, huh. See, what you know, no, you're Cal just really good at greeting people. Kaldor is actually just uh, a younger version of Goro from Mortal Kombat. Oh my god. Yeah. You're right. He is. You're actually right. Goro. You know what I'm a younger version of? Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung. Yep. Who would I be? Johnny you? Cage? No, I knew you were going to say that, though. Actually, I'm Reptile. <laughs> yeah, you are Reptile. Yeah. Oh, wow. I am. No, yeah, you are. I'm not Sub-Zero, though. I could be. Actually, I could be Scorpion. I don't think you're Scorpion, though. I think you're Reptile. You would be uh Who did you say you were? I, it was like a joke, Shang Tsung. Maybe I am, though. I'm Raiden. I you love be, you. Be the chick that fights with the fans. Easy, Artosis. <laughs> you be fan chick, whatever the hell her name is. Ah. Who's like really good. All right, we do have a bunker going up in the natural of Lenok. Nah, well, he does have the uh, proxy just slightly. So the Marines will get there a little bit quicker, but not a big deal. The two drones, perfect way to deal with this. Just stay on top of that SCV. Marine does come down, though. <coughs> He's going to have to back up. And in fact, that bunker looks like it should finish up. Six lings and a queen on the way. You know, that's always just so annoying uh, to have that bunker finish. Just because even if you kill it, they have made you make so many lings. Yeah. Instead of drones. And that's just always edge. annoying. We do have speed on the way for Lenoch, as well as six lings. By the way, this is the final game, Tasteless. The winner of this is in the GSL Finals, which is yeah. actually insane to think of. It is. Like, Lenoch might make a GSL Finals. MVP might make his fifth GSL Finals, third in a row or something like that. It's, like, actually crazy. Well, MVP is at this point the uncontested best. Yeah. Well, but Lenoch might change that. Yeah. Let's see here. We do have a lot of Lings coming out. Good job. Can't quite kill that off, and we'll kill the Lings, too. No salvation that time. That's what that's called, right? Uh, I'm, like, actually, salvation, my brain isn't No, no, that's uh, what... Religious people. Why can't I think uh, what this as, is? As, as, well, you could salvage it. Salvage. That's it. So no salvation going on there with that bunker. <laughs> <laughs> we do have Hellions on the way as well as a command center. Speed almost done and a spine crawler as well. Selenok looking pretty safe, but he has, of course, been forced into a lot of Zerglings so far. Never happy as a Zerg player to be in that position. I think he made 14 links total, I believe. What? The Zerg, like, SCV actually got in there? Didn't get to see too, too much, though. Right, we got some Hellions coming out here. 
Uh, we'll just say everything is the next time. Wouldn't that be awesome if we just cast in a double voice an entire game? <laughs> Wouldn't that be so cool? People would actually lose their minds. They'd think it was funny at first, and they'd be like, Shut they'd think up. it was terrible, then they'd realize, <laughs> they'd they realize how crazy it, it is. It's so distracted. I'm surprised he didn't transfer more drones to the uh, natural. He actually has so many drones as me. Yes, he certainly does. It might be because of uh, the Hellions. Just afraid to lose too many? Yeah. Don't I can see too that. many, man. It's like when there's a big field trip uh, for kids, like flying overseas or something from a town. They put them on two different planes so that the town doesn't get destroyed if the plane goes down. Makes sense. Yeah. Well, obviously, the town will kind of still be destroyed, but you got to save some of them, man. Talk to us. i got to blow my nose. Yes, sir. So right now, Tasteless putting his mic up, blowing that nose right in the Kleenex. Hellions running around, six of them now. And he's adding more barracks. Nothing too fancy, no second factory, nothing <clears> like that. Looks like MVP has decided once again to get a third command center as well, which is something that he's shown that he really, really likes. Leenok, on the other hand, playing very standard so far, getting that macro hatch going. And in fact, a second spine crawl. Looks like he's a little bit nervous about this. Um, <clears throat> see, I, I got like a frog in my throat. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> but we didn't um, stop it in France. We were in Sweden. I know. We were in Sweden. I never saw that Muppet chef there either. I was kind of pissed. Yeah. Uh, he was busy in the kitchen cooking us food. Making me Swedish meatballs. Mm -hmm. More Zerglings popping out. He may be going for a Hellion Surround while he still has some creep there. We will see. Baneling Nest on the way as well as a Lair. Leenok just kind of stuck onto base, which can be kind of all right. But the thing is, with three command centers already, MVP's doing a superb job of containing. It's so annoying as a Zerg player to uh, be sitting here knowing, ah, uh, you know, he's getting a sick economy at home. It's two base versus two base for a long time. It gets stressful. More links on the way. He's making so many links. You think he's going to try to do a... He's getting a Banelings Nest. Do you think he's going to try to end this? Well, I'm a bit shocked if he does because no, that's I, Hellions, you know? Yeah, I don't think he's going to try to end it. I think he's just going to get enough links that he can uh, battle off whatever comes. He's going up to Mutas. And... Oh, he's actually he's making four Banes. Okay, that's not too bad. Getting Burrow as well as Baneling Speed and Aspire. So... He's playing ultra safe right now. He has 24 Mortlings in production. What? He, m But he's also making the Spire. So it's not like really all in, but it's a lot, man. There's he's a lot. He's got to be so careful right now. Yeah, I, oh, dude, he escaped. Does he MVP escape. know? I think that he saw that out of the corner of his eye. No, I guess not. The Hellions would be going back a little bit faster. Uh, and actually, yeah, the Hellions are going back now. No, the Hellions are so crucial here. Because obviously Banelings right. going through those bunkers and hitting Marines would be very strong. Oh, and oh. Lino! Oh. Run, 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 MVP! Ah. Oh my god, he's just getting out of there with those Hellions. Oh my god, this is like so intense. What well. a Hellion goes down. <clears throat> and now he's on creep! Oh! He just slipping through. through the cracks. He greased him up. And those Hellions. Baneling speed almost done, by the way, guys. Yeah, and I wonder if he's actually going to do something with that Baneling speed, because it's a quick Oh, speed. intercepted. We, Goodbye. Oh, okay, so we will see now what his plan is. Okay, seven mutas. So he's not planning any sort of all-in, just want enough units, which is fine. Uh, with the seven mutas and the third and fourth bases on the way. Good choice, by the way, to double expand after being stuck in his main base for so long. The double expand, I like it. And he already has Baneling speed and Burrow. So now we can see him Burrow Banelings around the map. All he has to do right now is defend Dropswell, and with seven mutas, I think he's going to do that just fine. So MVP has to play a pretty oh, careful game from here. Complete. All right, this is going to be an interesting game. I really can't wait to see how this game ends, guys. I am so pumped. All right, the drop is going down the side of the map, but the mutas may intercept this. That's oh, huge for Leenok. And, and they, they do. do. Huge for Leenok. Yeah. Nice. Damage the Muta slightly. That's not what that drop is intended to do. Not to damage one Muta slightly. Yeah. Well, Leenok in great shape right now. 59 drones to 50 uh, SCVs. He's making 11 more drones as well. Going to jump up 
quite high in drones, up to 70. Oh, damn. All right. Nice and, star sense there. Yeah, yeah. But he has to use a lot of those because he has he has no idea how many are burrowed around the map. I mean, if yeah, I were lead off right now, I would trap. definitely consider burrowing a few more because if you get one good Baneling landmine off, oh. that can be a game winner in this situation. Yeah, absolutely. Scanning each step of the way. Leenok right now going around with the Mutas, trying to catch any reinforcements. He's getting the plus one Muta armor, which means that he knows his Mutas are going to be in fights. They aren't just for harassment. He's going to also use them to eliminate armies. All right, so okay. now... Oh, my God, this is actually so crazy. Ten Banelings on the way, plus two melee on the way. And in fact, did he unburrow all his... I don't think he has any brick Banelings burrowed around the map right now. He's going to try to snipe a tank. Oh! And he gets one! My voice breaks. I get so excited. No nerd chills yet. I'll let you know, though. We... Gosh, I don't know if MVP can actually break this base. Leenok, by the way, is like getting close to being max. He's at 163 yeah. supply. He's Leenok has a really good amount of supply. I feel like MVP might be over, over committing here. And if he loses this army without doing significant damage, that's oh no! Really oh, but he does catch that drop coming out. So that's pretty important. All right, so MVP right now just kind of spreading it out. There are a lot of lings and a lot of banelings. 1-1 one, one upgrades are done. Plus two carapace on the way for mutas. Plus two uh, melee attacks still going for the zerglings. Drone count up at 65 to 53 SUVs. Four base against two, though, which is the real thing that matters here. Another drop eliminated, and MVP has walked back to his main base. Probably the right choice. Hive on the way. Dude, MVP Leenog is running is out tight. of time, man. Yeah. I mean, there's you, you cannot keep losing this much stuff and not doing damage. At least in the other games, MVP was taking out hatcheries. All right, he's spreading out his Leenog is just playing immaculately. Yeah, he's playing like he's possessed. This is amazing. Ah! And we do have an MVP drop elsewhere, and it gets cleaned up immediately. You guys don't even need to see it. There's it's nothing just left. Deny, deny, deny. Oh! Oh my God! MVP in a lot of trouble. MVP not going to go back and try to save it either. I think this game is going to end pretty quickly. I don't. <coughs> so me. much dying. But if MVP, oh no, there's bird banelings on the ramp, tasteless. Uh oh, bro. Oh my oh, God. Oh, tail into that. MVP killing one base during all this, sending more and more units back. Leenox but saying Leenox sorry, MVP. Looks like he's going to be going to the finals. Looks he's like up by game 100 Genie supply. doesn't work on the Leenox console. You oh. got the wrong goddamn version. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And that is like actually it, man. He's up by 100 spy in the main base of MVP. MVP G -G. was outplayed by Leenock this game. And Leenock makes his first finals, keeping up this ridiculous streak of whoever wins MLG is in the finals of GSL. Tap wow. MMA, MVP, Leenock. It just keeps happening. Well, not Huck, I guess, but Leenock. He's done it, man. Almost with Huck. My God. History has been made. Leenock won that. That is insane. He is so is good. Insane. And now we're going to have an interview with the Lee of the Knock. <laughs> Wow,我真的是太棒了！哇，我真的是太棒了！哇，我真的是太棒了！哇，我真的是太棒了！哇，我真的是太棒了！哇，我真的是太棒了！哇，我真的是太棒了！哇，我真的是太棒了！哇，
많이 쉬울 것 같아요. <웃음> 아, 그렇죠. 아 정종현 선수를 상대로 지금 그런 스파링 파트너. Big strategy is going to be easy compared to MVP. 아 정말 대단합니다. 그리고 이동영 선수 정말 불운하다. 그리고 네. 그 불운을 뚫고 불굴의 의지를 보여준다. 이런 평가를 받고 있어. 정말 어린 나이인데 <웃음> 힘들지 않았어요. 그동안 이 GSL을 돌이켜 보면서 저희 중계진들도 그런 얘기를 많이 했거든요. 아, 정말 그 어린 학생에게 선수에게 너무 가혹한 거 아니냐. 지난 어떤 그 시련의 세월에 대해서 한번 말씀을 해주세요. 어 진짜 제가 생각해도 좀 대진이 좀안 좋은 걸 많이 만났는데 네, 네. 어 진짜 생각할수록 좀 웃기긴 한데 이제 I was 어, very unlucky in the matchups. 저를 만나는 게 대진이 안 좋은 게 되게 Even with the players in my bracket. My bracket, excuse me. 정말 멋진 말이에요. 네. 행운이 없는 사나이에서 행운이 없게 만드는 사나이 상대방을 그렇습니다. 어, 패시브로 바꿨어요. 네, 그분의 오라를 지금 보내고 네, 있는. 네. 좋습니다. 이동영 선수 결승전 정지훈 선수에게 어, 네. 좀 아마 보고 있을 것 같아요. 카메라로 한 말씀 부탁드립니다. 어 일단 결승은 좀 칠판 사선이라 많은 경기를 해야 되는데 준비 열심히 해서 서로 어 쪽을 봐주시고요. 서로 네. 재밌는 경기 했으면 좋겠어요. 네. 고맙습니다. 그럼 마지막, 마지막으로 팬분들께도 또한 말씀 해 주세요. He says to Jack, let's prepare well. And so some great matches. 어 저급 팬 여러분들께 어 많은 응원해 주셔서 되게 감사하고 어 마지막 남은 적으로서 꼭 우승할 수 있도록 하겠 So the Zerg fans, thank you for supporting me. 네, 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 네. 고맙습니다. 이동영 선수. 아, 이렇게 지금 현장에 많은 분들이 응원을 해주고 계신데 어, 돌아가시면서 또 이렇게 And the crowd goes wild. 인사 한번 부탁드릴게요. 고맙습니다. 이동영 선수. 아, 너무 좋던데요. Wow. So tasteless. If l e n o c k wins the finals this week, that means in the course of two weeks, he has won $100,000. It's pretty hard. My head explodes. Jock G and l e n o c k going up in the finals here. Check us out. Come down to the finals. It's free. It's actually always free to come down to Golem. Make a bar craft. Get wasted. Uh, tweet at us. Your bar, your bar crafts. Mm -hmm. And um, tweet at so us even if you're just at home. Great semifinals as always at Golem. And I expect the finals to be just as awesome. Mm -hmm. It is going to be quite uh, a battle of TVZ. Jock, she's going to fare hard. Lee Nock was looking good. Lee Nock drinks the blood of nerds. Mm -hmm. Even non-nerds, actually. Lee Nock even drinks the blood of bros. Whoa. So he was like, dude, oh, do another beer bong. Oh. Then they, like, Lee Nock just drinks his blood. <laughs> they said a blood bong. <clears throat> wow. All right, here <clears throat> is the next matches for Kode. So here's Alicia against I'm Lucera, which is Finn, aka 4GG. For some reason, he decided to change a name that's super famous. Uh, to one that is completely unknown. Do we get the at the end of a French art film? It's yeah. like Finn. We have Bomber against JYP and Lucky against Nada. It's pretty good matches there, actually. Alicia Lucera looks pretty exciting to me. I want to see if Alicia is bringing it back. Those are two heavy hitters. Mm -hmm. Bomber and JYP should be really good too. Thank you for joining us, guys. Thanks. Yeah, it's been fun. Uh, I think that's it, man. We go to the finals uh, this weekend. Yeah. Make sure you tune in for that. Get your parties going. It's going to be awesome. Can l e n o c k win another huge championship right so soon after? And, uh, of course, follow GOM TV on Twitter. It's GOM Do TV. our winner predictions. <coughs> follow Tasteless on Twitter. He's called me Tasteless. Follow myself. Call me Ar I'm Artosis. Not call me Artosis. Kalimdor for the Swarm. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you at the finals so for the GS l c o d e s He's a bias caster. See you guys.